Hey guys, today we are in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're standing in front of the Grand Old Opry. I'm looking right at it, but we're not coming here for that. We're coming here for this restaurant behind us, the aquarium. It's like eating your meal under the sea. So we're going to take you in here and let you see it with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Check this place out, guys. Is this not cool? You got your fish hanging from the ceiling. It's this huge aquarium. It just wraps all the way around. And your tables are all lit up. This place is also like a brother or sister of the Rainforest Cafe. I think there are four of these in the United States, but I could be wrong. I mean, look at that. This place is so neat. I mean, the fish look good. Huge. Got some big ones in here. Got some stingrays coming around. It's a good place for kids to come. Kids can come in here and check out the fish while they eat. Here is the bar area. It's pretty neat looking. There's the ceiling. Got a nice picture over here. Nice big booth. All the lights kind of dim and change colors now and then. The blues. Man. This place is so cool. Another little tank. Here are the salt and pepper shakers, guys. Little seahorses. Okay. Doing great, thank you. And let's go over the menu here at the aquarium. Got some fried gator, some fried cheese. There's your castaway combo. And you have some soups and salads. Got the soup of the day, Caesar salad, a little clam chowder and a house salad. Then you get down to the chicken pasta and burgers. Louisiana Cajun pasta. There's a grilled chicken breast. There's your classic burgers and your Beyond Burger. And your signature fish. And tilapia, New Orleans. Seafood and steak. That Cajun combo there. Fried seafood platter for $29.99. A little steak and lobster. Shrimp creations. There's your shrimp scampi, which Bobby is going to get for $24.99. Coconut shrimp and a shrimp platter. And some seafood tacos. And they said everybody in the Nashville area loves this gator and shrimp tacos. So that's what I am getting. And you can add on some stuff right here. So. Pretty good menu. Let's look at this stingray going around through here. How cool is that? He is huge. There's some more fish, but this place is really neat. I mean, just look back through there, how pretty it looks. All these different fish. Food has arrived, and let's check out these tacos real quick. I mean, look, you got your shrimp wrapped in a little bit of bacon. Got your alligator right there. They look good, and you got some uh, red beans and rice, and a Creole sauce to put on them. And here's Bobby's. Got some uh, asparagus over there, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Some mushrooms. Yeah. There's the shrimp. Okay. Roasted tomatoes. All looks good. Yes. 
Let's see. And it's just a heavy cream sauce. I think she said some butter in it too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good cream sauce. You like it's got it. Got a good flavor to it. The noodles are done just right. They're not too soft. Just perfect. Hey, I tried a mushroom. mushroom. You like mushrooms. I like mushrooms. You like them. Better you than me on that. Yeah. All those flavors combined together, very good. You, know, you like mushrooms. You like asparagus. Mm -hmm. You should be able to tell if this is good asparagus. You make it all the time. Asparagus is good. It's not. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. Not rubbery or anything, yeah. huh? There, try a yeah, shrimp. Try a shrimp. Yeah. Sauce on it. Excellent. I like we, it. In that, it's really good in that sauce. How many shrimp you get in there? It looks um, like one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 It's not bad. Mm -hmm. So you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, let's check it out. Like I showed you before. I'm gonna take one of these out. Let's get one out here. We got got some alligator. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this alligator by itself. And thick. It's good. It's got a distinct taste. Doesn't taste when like you bite into it. It's a little like chicken biting into it, but when you eat it, it tastes it tastes a little different. But I like it. So let me try. That's the first time you ever had alligator, huh? I think I had it years ago. Oh, but years I can't, ago. But I can't really remember what it tastes like. Okay. I like it. I like alligator. So I'm gonna put some of this. See, everybody loves this Creole sauce. It's like a mustard base. Is that what she said? I'm not sure. That was this Creole sauce. There we go. Got that look. Let's go and try. Good. Put the slaw in here, give them the crunch. You got the shrimp in there. Oh yeah, you got shrimp too. There's shrimp in there. I mean, it's good. That's that sauce. That sauce does add to it. Got okay. a little bite to it. But I think it's a good choice for twenty dollars. I like how they did your rice there. That's nice. Let's try this a little bit. Red beans and rice. I'm not a huge fan of red beans, but I thought I'd try it. Yeah, you may like this. Try it. Mm. Not bad. I kind of like it. Really, ne really never ate red beans. I like rice, but I usually don't ever get red beans. But it tastes too bad. I'll finish that all off, but the shrimp, I mean, I'll show you. How the shrimp. Look at that. Yeah. So this looks like a pretty good meal, so I'm excited about eating all of it. I think I can finish this. Well, Bobby, since you've been getting into that, there's a lot yeah. of pasta in there. There's a lot of pasta. Look at all that, how creamy that is. Can you see that? That's thick. Yeah, that's thick. They didn't uh, shortchange you on the sauce. No, they did. You liking it? Yeah, I do like it because I like all the vegetables yeah. and the shrimp. Perfect. Right. to say about this shrimp you know shrimp is wrapped in bacon i don't know if i said that or not but if i did it's got bacon on it but this honey mustard creole is what this is i'm gonna try this by itself mm. that bacon that bacon wrapped around that shrimp just adds to that flavor but i'm telling you this this sauce is the bomb i like it these tacos are way to go i was going to get the royal seafood platter, but I thought with the alligator in here and the shrimp, and they told me this is what the people get here in Nashville. They love this, so I tried it, and it's, it's definitely good. I wanted to make a little comment about that shirt you got there. It's pretty right. cool. Yeah, Walking in Memphis. Walking in Memphis. Song. That's one of my favorite songs. I know. You got all the stuff, WC Handy, the Gates of Graceland, Elvis on yep. it. It's pretty cool. It's 
Pinnacle. Check out this eel, guys. I don't know where he's been. Big. Nice if he comes down here and swims. He's probably going up in there. guys let's check out the bill 329 for the coke 2499 $19 it's not bad because you're you're paying for this atmosphere in here I mean to probably clean these tanks is probably not cheap and if any of you ever been to a rainforest cafe you know it's a little more expensive but the food was good you know I mean so it wasn't like you're just paying for the atmosphere of sitting in front of this big aquarium because the food did back it up sometimes you pay a decent price and then the food isn't any good but we thought it was good on to the aquarium is their gift shop so there you could buy the salt and pepper shakers if you wanted them got all kind of different shirts Little activities for the kids. Little mermaid. Have some more shirts back here. What do you see, Bobby? Personalized kids' mugs. Oh, do they? Bobby's looking for her name. This carries the theme over too in the ceiling. Everybody, I just wanted to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Stacy Hunt. September 14th, right John? Yep, that is so, her birthday. Happy birthday, Yeah, Stacey. happy birthday to you and thanks for subscribing. Also, we have to end our video because we forgot after we left the restaurant because it was raining so bad. Yeah, that was down there. They had the nasty floods down there. So yeah. it was pouring the rain down and we got out of there and forgot to end it. So what did you think of the aquarium though, Bobby? I love it inside. It's so pretty, all the different fish and stuff. And it's it's just a nice atmosphere. It's mm. a little bit darker in there. And yeah, it's I think it's just be because of the lighting of the oh, fish, it's neat. That you could see them better. Yeah, it's like eating under the sea. Yeah, it's real. It was real clean. Our uh, waitress was really nice, mm -hmm. and I liked the food that I had. It was yeah, the food good. was good. Uh, now I think one thing the prices might seem a little high to some of you guys, but I think you're paying for the atmosphere and all the fish. It's probably cost a lot of money to yeah, uh, sure clean those is. aquariums out, but. It's a neat place to go. There's a lot of places to eat in Nashville, but if you've never been to something like this, it's definitely worth going at least one time. Yeah, and especially if you're in the mall. Yeah, in the it's mall. Right there. Yeah, it's it's excellent. If you go to the Grand Old Opry, that's where the Grand Old Opry is today. So check it out. It's just right across the street. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J, J and B, B have left the building. building.